Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets and today I wanted to create a video that talks about the difference between snapshots and virtual copies. These are two things that are often confused in Lightroom. Sometimes people use them, I don't know if you can really use them wrong, but they might use them in not exactly the easiest way, I guess. So let's just talk about these each. Let's start with snapshots. To me, the easiest way to think about a snapshot is a snapshot is a way to save a moment in time. And specifically in Lightroom, it's a way to save a moment in time while you're editing. Okay, so I may make a lot of changes to my photo and I take a snapshot and I can preserve exactly how this image looks right here, right now. So I am going to come up here to make a snapshot. You're going to come over to the left hand side and there's a snapshots panel. I'm just going to click on the little plus sign and I'm going to make a snapshot called clean edit because I feel like that's really what this is. Now some other snapshots that I might want to create. I sometimes will create a basically just like a base. Um, snapshot I'll call it base or something if I have a client who needs a lot of who has a lot of acne or just needs a lot of skin changes and I want to do those before I start to apply my presets so I will go in and make all those changes to the skin and then I'll just save like a base snapshot <laughs> so that I can always go back to that if I want and that's now my new straight out of camera Another way you might want to use a snapshot is to create a black and white. If I want to um, try this image in black and white, then I might create a black and white snapshot of how this image looks. So let's, let's actually do that. Let's go up here to my presets. I'm going to choose from my film noir collection. I like a lot of these presets on this image, but Angel Heart is one of my favorites, so I'm going to click on that. And now let's just come down here to snapshots. Let's click on the plus sign again. And I'm going to just type BW. I'm going to click Create. Now, a couple of other ways that you can create a snapshot. You can actually use the shortcut Command or Control N. That's another way that you can create a snapshot. I think using the plus symbol is pretty simple, so that's how I do it. I give it a name, and then I just click Save Snapshot. So a couple of things you might want to know about snapshots. So new snapshots that you create on the original image will show up on other virtual copies that you've made maybe before you created that snapshot. So if I had made a bunch of virtual copies of this image and I come back to it two years later and I want to try a few different edits on this image and I create those as snapshots, those snapshots are now gonna show up on my other virtual copies, which is a super sneaky trick and just something that's really helpful to know. So you can also delete snapshots. You can cl click up here on the minus sign. That will delete my snapshots. I'm gonna hit Command Undo because I don't really wanna do that. But, um, or you can right click and then choose delete, however you want to do. If I, create my black and white and then I'm like, oh, okay, well I actually, I want to make this a little bit darker. I don't like how bright it is, so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Or I want to add a little bit more contrast or something. Then I can always go back to my black and white snapshot and I can now click update with current settings. So I don't have to make a brand new snapshot for that. Okay, so now let's talk about virtual copies because virtual copies are really similar to this. Virtual copies basically mean that it's another way to, it's a, it's a way to create an, another copy of this image in my film strip. So if I just, to make a virtual copy, I would come down here and I would, I think this is the way I usually do it. I right click and I choose create virtual copy. Okay. Um, you can also go to the drop down the, photo drop down menu up here and choose create virtual copy. You could also do um, control or command apostrophe to create a virtual copy. Those are always you can do that. Um, 
A couple of things you need to know about virtual copies. What it is not doing is it is not creating another copy of this image on your hard drive. So you will never see two copies of DSC 1660 on your hard drive. You will only see one. But Lightroom, what you're telling Lightroom with a virtual copy is I want to see this image twice. Okay, I want to see it twice in my film strip. So Lightroom is going to show you two of the exact same photo and it's a way that you can show two different versions. So let's leave this virtual copy and I know it's a virtual copy down here on the bottom. If you can see that there's a turned up corner down here on the bottom, that's the way that I know that this is a virtual copy. Let's go back to the original file and let's now click on the clean edit snapshot and I can go back and see that now I have this clean edit version and I have the black and white version. They're the exact same photo but now I can see both of them side by side. So one of the ways, one of the reasons I use a virtual copy is anytime I want to show my clients a copy of the color version and the black and white version. I just create a virtual copy, I change one to the clean version and one to the black and white version. And then when I, uh, if I command click both of these and I go to export them, they export as two separate JPEGs. So they're only one file on my hard drive, but when I go to export them, I will have two differently named JPEGs in the folder where I export them. So that's how I use virtual copies. And that's how I use snapshots with my virtual copies. So super, I, I hope this helps to clear up how, what these two different names mean, how they're the same. I mean, you're creating different versions. That, that part is the same, but a snapshot just saves a moment in time of your editing and a virtual copy allows you to show multiple versions of the same photo. And you can do that by using snapshots or you could do it without using snapshots too. You could just have a completely different edit and you don't have to create a snapshot, but a snapshot is a super easy way to do that. So I hope this helps clear up any questions that you've had about snapshots versus virtual copies. And let me know if you have any other questions in the comments here and happy Lightrooming.